Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, I'm very excited to announce that Sephora is doing their sale again. And once again, if you guys are new, I actually do review beauty products about once a month and they're extremely authentic. I review it for the full month. So this is, if you will, a consolidated video of all the stuff that I really, really love. It is also the second season that I am doing a guide for Sephora recommendations, but this is the first time I'm putting it on YouTube because last season in November, I actually have it on my website as a guide. And if you are an email subscriber, you actually get early access and I give you the password so you can actually have access to the entire guide before the sale. But because this is my first time doing it on YouTube, I am going to be consolidating this season and last season's guide a little bit. So this is a real, real, real summary of a lot of the things just are holy grails from Sephora. Feel free to check out last season's guide on my website here and if you want early access to this year's guide make sure you are subscribed to my email and you will get a password otherwise you will get the guide and it will be available for everyone in public on the day of the sale I just personally like to shop before the sale because I like to have my basket ready and the minute the sale starts I just immediately click a checkout just because there are so many products that are going to sell out really fast especially the value pack ones because the value pack ones are not only a great deal but then on top of that you're getting your 20% off on top of the items just a little bit about the sale because there are a few rules to it so if you guys want to go ahead and stick to the recommendations I will leave a timestamp but for the other people who don't know anything about the sale I just want to let you guys know that it starts on April 1st and it ends on April 11th but it's tiered so depending on what type of member you are on Sephora the dates will be different so I will just leave a picture here for you guys to see there are a few rules meaning there is limitations to your purchases for example you can only buy one Dyson product and there are currently no air wraps in stock at this moment as we're doing spring 2022. There's a limit of five Morphe items, three Tarte Shape Tape concealers. The discount also does not work on the Ordinary, MAC, and Viva Glam, and obviously gift cards. So those brands I will not be mentioning today just because there's no urgency in purchasing them anyway, so whatever. And then the last thing is that Sephora products, products by the Sephora collection is actually 30% off, which actually is key because I do have a lot of Sephora collection items that I really like, which I will share with you as well. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get started on the recommendations. So starting with skincare, I'm also gonna be going in the order of what your routine would look like. And once again, make sure you do still check out the guide because to fit every single product I have ever loved is just going to be so impossible and on the guide there's actually a section where they're all icons and these are all products I've tried and reviewed and loved but I just don't have like a verbal thing it's just going to be too much there's also those but um, these are the ones I really really want to highlight starting off with cleansing bombs I do have two favorites they're both extremely heavy duty and remove everything from waterproof mascara to magnetic liners to even lash glue. I have these two items here. The only difference between these two, both are heavy duty, but this one will keep your skin feeling not as dry. And this one removes your makeup faster. So this one, you really have to take your time with it. I find, especially when you're rubbing all the eye makeup off, you really have to take your time, but it will get there and it's less drying. Not saying this one is dry, but it's definitely less drying than this one. This one works really, really quickly. You don't need to be spending a lot of time. That's what I like about it. Do not get thrown off by the packaging it is supposed to be green this is I believe just limited edition but you can basically see that I am almost pretty much done with the product so I absolutely love this one if I had to pick one I probably will still pick this one to be honest but this one I just really like it because I live in a cold climate and it's really drying so this one dries my skin a lot less so it's perfect for people who live in Toronto or something like that as well okay so the next product I have for you is my favorite morning cleanser this one has been a long time favorite of mine it lathers it is the amore pacific treatment enzyme cleansing foam this one works so so well especially if you have a tool like a foreo or clarisonic you can also see from the back here it's almost done again this is just one of my really favorite go-to cleansers another one i really like and the one i actually want to highlight especially if you're a traveler are the products by dermalogica dermalogica not only makes amazing products but especially if you are a traveler and 
and a frequent traveler, I highly recommend just buying their travel kit. It is so great for traveling. Everything is also refillable, which is amazing. I would honestly just buy for even just like their containers, even their toner. The product is really great, but also their travel product is also amazing and you can refill. So I really, really recommend it. The other item I highly, highly recommend getting from Dermalogica is their travel size daily micro exfoliant. I will leave a picture here because for some reason I can't find mine, but that one is my absolute go-to when I travel, mostly because it is a really great exfoliator, especially when you're traveling and there's a lot of buildup on your skin. And it also works really well because since it's not liquid, it doesn't count in your real estate of liquid products. So that is honestly one of my favorite go-to items and also something I really like to gift to others. And it is also travel size. So it is super tiny. It doesn't take up a lot of space in your bag and such a great effective product. I haven't heard a single person who does not like that product. So if you don't already have it, definitely check that out. The next item I have for you is a toner. And this one is the toner by Ren. This is a AHA toner. Don't get me wrong. There is kind of a learning curve to using this toner in a sense that it's not just one that you would just use every single day. And this one is kind of a chemical exfoliant. It is a little bit stronger. So make sure when you use it, you're also applying on sunscreen. Do not also use it with heavy retinol as well, especially if it's on the same day. But once you really do get a hang of this product, it works extremely well and it makes your skin extremely smooth, especially for a morning toner is how I like to use it. Definitely, if you are confident in using it, I would definitely check out that product because it really, really smooths your skin out. The next product I honestly can't speak more highly of. It is the Kiehl's Retinol Skin Daily Microdose Serum. And this is what it looks like. And the reason why I love the serum and love recommending it is because so many people are so scared of using retinol, but retinol is honestly essential for so many skin concerns, especially for anti-aging. If you're also in your mid twenties or even going to thirties or even you're in your 30s, 40s, whatever it is, everyone, everyone needs to use retinol. But the issue with retinol is that so many people are scared to use it because everyone hears that it's kind of like a strong chemical, like blah, blah, blah. You're going to experience a burn, etc. So what Kiehl's has done, they've made a microdose of a retinol so you can use it morning and night without having to worry about, oh my God, am I supposed to balance this out and start only twice a week to build it to three times a week to every day? If you are not confident or a little bit scared to use retinol, I would definitely recommend trying this product because you're free to use it every day and night and not have to worry about having a chemical burn. The next product I wanted to recommend is also another serum and this one is the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. Honestly, when I first heard about the hype about this product, I didn't get it until I started using it as well. Honestly, for me, it's mostly for under makeup. I feel like this product, especially for me, where I see a lot of the benefits, is under my makeup or if you're not gonna wear makeup for it to just like glow it gives you such a nice glow from underneath and this is what this product is for I feel like especially under makeup as well because all of the other serums don't give you that almost like instant glow so I really really like this for the makeup to go on top of it it's also very easy and smooth to apply on top like you're not experiencing any like blotchiness or cakiness or like thickness or whatever this is just a very nice serum under Underneath your makeup if that is something you are looking for or just a morning serum and you're someone that puts on makeup really frequently however I do also have another serum to recommend especially for the mornings and it is the origin vitamin C serum this one on oh my guide I was very extreme in my description of it I was basically just like if your vitamin C was to be a boyfriend this one is it because not only does it give you that glow which is what vitamin C is meant for which is why you should use it in the morning as opposed to nighttime it also contains other chemicals and other AHAs basically it just means that it also will reduce your pores as well as making your skin texture a little bit smoother so it is such an all-in-one package and just one serum it is also fairly reasonable in price so if you're looking for a vitamin C serum that is a really good one to check out the next two products I also highlighted in this season's recommendations as well but it is the Lancome absolute serum and cream and the reason why I was hesitant on recommending these two products is because they were individually extremely expensive like I'm not gonna lie and if you know there are definitely creams and serums out there that are within a good budget that are still very effective however when I first started testing this product this month I already used it 
every single day of this month. Honestly, this product just not only does it smell good, but it has made my skin so smooth. Once again, I already mentioned this in my guide, but I honestly was like, am I crazy? Like, is it just because it's expensive that I'm trying to justify it subconsciously? But no, I went on Sephora and so many people had the exact same thoughts and my skin this time around. This has been one month of just using the Absolute Serum and Cream. I don't know if you can tell, but my skin is honestly so smooth. I genuinely feel like a fetus or I just got birthed or something, but it is so, so, so smooth. Like, I don't want to recommend this because of the price point, but I just, I feel like I have to say something because I was genuinely pleasantly shocked. The good news is I did find a value set for this line. So definitely check that out because this is one of the ones where I really think it's gonna sell out. So have it in your basket ready to go and just purchase it if you even wanna try it. This is the time because the retail value is almost double and on top of that you're getting the 20% off so if there's a time to buy it it is now the next product I have for you is a face oil and this is the Abbe Royale one by the brand Guerlain Guilain honestly I don't know how to pronounce it correctly because it's French and I feel like my pronunciation is just butchered every single time basically this is a face oil and this is another one of those products where it's expensive and I didn't want to like it but I love it so much they even claim that a bottle sells out every few seconds or something like that and there is honestly a reason for this first of all the formulation is from honey and honey is just super good for your skin and it's just very nourishing and I definitely feel the effects of it and another thing I like about this oil is that it is not too oily if you are someone who is kind of like me where one of the things I don't like about hand cream is just like that feeling of like lotionness or whatever when it comes to face oils I don't want to feel like grease and this one is almost like a watery oil, but yet extremely effective. I feel so good when I use this oil and I feel like my skin becomes replenished, especially if it's extremely dry or especially if I feel like it's just, it needs some sort of, I don't know, care or like nourishment, especially in the winters. I, I know I keep saying that, but living in Toronto really does a number on your skin. So this is definitely something I really love to use. As a once a week product, this is a product I have actually raved about way before it became popular or TikTok viral. And then it became TikTok viral and then it sold out. And I was like, I told you guys, but you need to get this one mask and it is by Coda Lee and it is their instant detox mask. They have a ton of masks. They're all really, really good. But this one is by far my favorite. I don't know if this is a testament to anything but it is also my mother's favorite okay like my mother who for a long time didn't even use skincare her and I together jointly have gone through so many of these bottles we absolutely love this mask and I have actually changed into using only these type of masks instead of sheet masks because of a few reasons number one I feel like it's more environmentally friendly because it is just one package and I'm just squeezing this instead of having to use Use like a sheet every single time the second reason is because I absolutely hate that feeling of putting the sheet on my face because it is always super super cold so I prefer not saying I don't like sheet masks, it's just for all of these reasons, now I prefer to use these type of masks because when I put it on, I can ease myself in without feeling that shock. I don't wanna feel like every single time I put on a sheet mask, I, I'm like jumping into the pool or something, okay? I don't, I don't like that few seconds of shock. I want to be eased in, and this is why I also have switched to these type of masks as well. Okay, moving on to makeup, I will also once again go in the order of what my routine is for makeup. The first product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. This product I have actually sold to so many of my friends every single time they come over or they want me to do their soap brows. This is kind of the end look. I always use this product and they always end up buying it. It's really funny because a few months ago I reviewed this product. I tried it for a month but I didn't have the technique nailed down. So when I first reviewed the product I actually was like I don't think this is for me. I don't think the soap brow look is for me. Whatever. I have realized if you do not like this product, it is probably because you're using it wrong. And my very few quick tips that I think 
what is happening is you're either using too little product because a lot of the times I'll do my friends brows and then when they tell me it doesn't work even though they're using the same product I'm like okay show me how you're doing it and immediately my first thought is you're not using enough the second thing is a lot of them also don't let it dry so when I put it on I will put on the brow freeze do the rest of my face I have a tutorial by the way on TikTok which I will leave at the bottom but I will always let it dry first do the rest of my face and then color up my brow in and then the third thing is a lot of them don't press down your brow after they're done or they also don't comb the hairs down at the top but trust me I have used some other brow freezes out there and this one is by far the best it also doesn't leave any white residue once the product when you're hitting pan and it's starting to become white that's when you need to replace the product it probably won't last until you're actually completely done the minute it is not see-through like this you got to throw the product out because you don't want any white on your eyebrow but I promise you if you don't like this product it is probably because you're not using it right and make sure you watch a tutorial on that the second brow product that I actually want to mention is because this is the thing that I'm getting in my basket which I will also go through what I'm getting in my basket but it is actually the benefit brow kit and the reason why I'm recommending the kit is because I got it last year it was such a monetary steal that I'm getting it again and I was also trying benefit brows for the first time and I actually really really like it because I'm usually a Anastasia Beverly Hills brow girl but it was my first time using a benefit brow kit and I loved every single product I loved all the colors and once again as a value pack it's amazing and we're getting 20% on top so definitely put that in your basket as well because I think these value kits are gonna be gone. Okay, moving on to concealer. I have two concealers for you because I have one for each type of person. So the first one is for my Au Naturel people. This is my absolute favorite concealer. This one's by Lancome and it is their Edol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. Once again, depending on what areas of my face, if I'm trying to touch up a blemish, it will be closer to my skin tone. If it's under eye, I'll go about one or two shades lighter. But this one is similar to the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation type of texture. It is extremely lightweight, but still enough coverage that I can be a concealer without it being extremely heavy coverage. It won't cover everything, like it won't cover your sins type of thing, but it's gonna cover a lot and it has mostly the natural look. I actually sometimes just kind of like use it all over my face if I'm just in a rush or if I want to cover a little bit more, I will use this. But this one is honestly, oh, just the formula. I love it so much. The second product I want to recommend to you is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And this one is for my heavy coverage people. This one will actually cover your sins. This one, the minute you swab this on, I'm just literally like, Wow, I could probably be a different race and you would never know because this concealer is just super heavy coverage. So if you are looking for a heavier coverage thing or if you have an event or you wanna be in front of the camera or whatever, this will be a really good one to have on hand. The only thing I don't like about it, which I've mentioned before, is I just feel like this is a really damn big container for a concealer. Like it's mostly that it's super thick. I don't know if you can tell compared to this one. And I don't know, I just, I feel like they can definitely condense the packaging but whatever it is heavy coverage it will cover your sins so you might as well just get it because you know it works out really well the next makeup product that I want to recommend is the Hollywood flawless filter by Charlotte Tilbury and this one I have actually reviewed it when I first started on YouTube which was a long time ago this one I recently pulled back up and I forgot how much I loved this product first of all I love that the applicator is a swab and this is just I can use it all over the place I don't have to get my hands dirty I love that this one is not heavy coverage a lot of people in fact think of it as primer but if you have been following along this channel for a while you will know I have recently ditched foundation because honestly I don't know I'm just trying to get my skin to breathe I want to look a little bit more natural so all I use now is concealer however recently I've been trying to find something in between a foundation and a concealer. Like I didn't want a foundation, but I didn't want a concealer. I pulled up my flawless filter again. And honestly, this is all I'm using on my skin today besides blush and contour and stuff. But otherwise, in terms of the face, the only thing I'm using is the Hollywood flawless filter. I just feel like it gives you such a nice glow and just 
makes you look super radiant. So even if you want heavier coverage, a lot of people use this product actually just underneath your makeup. And I feel like if you want to glow like the damn sun, I feel like if you use this as your serum, this as your primer, and then something else as your foundation, I feel like you could just walk out and blind everybody because just this combination, if glow is what you're looking for and you're not a matte type of person, then these are the two products that you definitely need in your routine. Okay, I am gonna go on to eyes now. So I'm gonna go to my two favorite eyeshadow palettes. The first one is this one. If I had to pick one, I will still pick this one, but this one is the Tartlet flirt and this is what it looks like so disclaimer i do not like big eyeshadows okay because i like to carry it with me even if i don't carry it with me to travel i still like just on a day-to-day -day basis on my desk don't like those you know really big morphe palettes i'm like it's so hard to open it's so hard to keep around your house so i just really like these small ones this one in particular i like because it goes really really well with my skin tone and the formulation of the powder is just amazing so i actually did a tutorial with this palette on tiktok and it blew up and especially recognized by the asian community that this eyeshadow palette just works really really well on our skin tone so if you are asian and you're looking for an eyeshadow palette look this up buy this 20 percent off and also find my tiktok video i do a whole tutorial especially if you're monolid honestly you think that will help a very close second to my favorite eyeshadow palette which is this one but this one i i don't think it's like you know mostly for asians or whatever or like i think this works on all skin tones but it is the charlotte tilbury super nudes palette and the colors are just super neutral i feel like it's also amazing for fall i will leave a selfie here from a look i did but this is my go-to palette i usually use this every single day i just absolutely like it i think you can also go really far with this palette for just six shades you can have so many different looks you can have a really heavy dark sultry look on my guide i literally said i'm like if you're sneaky link is coming over and you're putting on eyeshadow this is it but you can have a very sultry look you can also have a very au naturel look by just sticking to the lighter colors but this one can really go a long way and i highly recommend it the only unfortunate thing is if you are watching this and you are canadian it is not available on the canadian website if you're also checking out my guides make sure you click on the appropriate link there is a website for canadians and there's a website for americans and there had to be a difference because there are products and brands that are not sold depending depending on what country you're in. So make sure you click the correct country and find the products that are there for you. So Canadians, I am sorry, it is not on the Sephora Canadian website, but for Americans, I highly recommend that you get this, especially during the sale, just because I honestly think Charlotte Tilbury is gonna pull this out of Sephora soon. It is also part of their limited edition one. So if they are gonna keep it, they are also only gonna keep it on their website. So this is now the chance to get it. And if you change your mind, you can return it, but just, just get it for now and decide when you try it so some other eye products and this is fitting because these are all sephora products these are products that have actually pleasantly surprised me it is the two eyeliners i'm actually wearing today so i can kind of show you it is the sephora retractable eyeliner and this is waterproof and this one i have in brown and black but i will just show you the brown one because i feel like this is less common to get the exact shade is 10 matte brown they also have a water proof eyeliner in brown that also complements this really well and this one is in color 02 cup of joe i always wear this together because as you can see i use the crayon to highlight the bottom and do most of the work and then i use the liquid just to clean up the wing at the end this has always been my way of doing eyeliner and i have this in both brown and black i highly recommend it because these ones are 30 percent off before i move on to to face like other face products i also want to recommend the sephora eyelash glue so this is something i'm also going to be repurchasing so they have it in white and black the last time i tried buying this the black was sold out so i could only get white the white actually worked surprisingly well it doesn't dry as white it actually dries clear i know a lot of lash glue places claim they dry clear but they really don't but this one actually does the white actually doesn't bother me that much so i will be keeping this but i also do 
do want to try and test out the black this time but once again the 30 percent off you just can't beat that and it works really really well another reason i like this product is because it is also more a paintbrush instead of a squeeze bottle so i find that i can really really control how much glue i'm putting on my eyelashes i also have a tutorial on how to put on your lashes from underneath which is really effective especially if you also have monolids so make sure you check that out this eyelash glue is perfect for that because you can really put a precise amount of glue instead of just kind of like accidentally squeezing the whole entire tube out the last two makeup products i have for you one is another one by charlotte tilbury and it is their face palette i have always been a fan of all their face palettes i have a three now i have the glowgasm i have something else i feel like i want to say it's also called glowgasm but this one nothing will beat my love for this one especially because i think for fall it was super perfect i love this shade of blush so my go-to blush has always been the nars orgasm or the one in the charlotte tilbury collection or there was one by like becca with jaclyn hill palette that i really like so it's always that like very pinky sparkly one this is the first one that has really caught my eye that isn't really pinky but it looks super nice this is the blush i have on right now i feel like it's very subtle very sultry very fall i just love it so much same with the highlighter and the bronzers of this palette it is amazing and this one is called nude gasm i think it's because i am having more of like a I don't know like i think nude is always a little bit more sultry so i kind of have been really liking that vibe once again same with the eyeshadow palette i do want to warn you guys i feel like this is going to be a limited collection one so make sure you get it now and also this is available this time for both canadians and americans so feel free to get it but yes my recommendation is always just get it first and then just once you have it on your hands and you have the power to decide if you want to keep it but if you just don't order it there's literally you can't change your mind after that the next product i want to talk about is the hourglass highlighter i love this product so much that i used it all throughout europe and when i lost it i didn't even question it i immediately went to sephora and bought myself another one this is the hourglass highlighter they also actually won an award for it the reason i love this highlighter not only is it great for traveling but also it is just super easy to apply you just draw a line and then you just use your finger to blend it out i do not have a bad thing to say about this one i will say though depending on your skin tone your color may be different but if you have a similar skin tone to me i am champagne flash and i feel like that color is really amazing against my skin tone so make sure you check out this product or even that color if you want or another one if your skin tone is different from mine so that is it for makeup i'm going to touch on two hair products really quickly once again i do have more hair products and they are all in the guides but for the sake of this video i really really wanted to condense this as much as possible so you have two seasons worth of things to check out but my ultimate favorite is honestly this hair oil this one is by karis das and it is from their chrono logic line honestly you guys the smell and the scent of this hair oil i do have to warn you it is strong and i want to warn you because i know there are some people who do not like fragrance who don't prefer it or want something very very lightly fragranted i on the other hand love things that are extremely fragranted so this one for me is amazing the smell i don't know what it is it is so so good i just feel like not that this has actually happened but i feel like if i really wanted to trap a man this is what i would use as one of my tools not that i have actually successfully trapped anybody but you know maybe i didn't try hard enough i don't know maybe i need something else but this is one of the things that is part of your formula i swear to god like i just i don't know just you try it and you let me know so there is another hair oil by Stas that isn't as heavily scented as this one but it is just as effective i will just leave a picture here and the link is also within the guide but anyway moving on to the second product which is also coincidentally by Kerastas, but it is their eight hour magic night serum this product is amazing for anyone who wants to replenish their hair especially health wise especially if your hair is extremely dry this one is a very generic one and this is why i'm recommending it they also have a blonde one for people who have bleached their hair or if you have blonde hair i will also leave a link here but the 
purpose of these ones is honestly to repair your hair, especially when you're sleeping or just, you know, when you're going about your day, it's repairing your hair and it's trying to get it to kind of like nourish itself and also make it softer. So a lot of people, including myself, have used this product and have woken up with softer hair. So if you are someone also experiencing dry hair, and again, probably if you're Canadian, like I assume there's a theme here, clearly, that you probably need this product because the air in this country isn't nice to us so i highly recommend that as well moving on to body products i actually have a lot of body products so i'm gonna refer to the guide so instead i'm just gonna refer to you my two favorite brands for body my two favorite brands one is actually a hair brand but they recently launched their body collection it is the verb body line they have a body wash and also body lotion this is what it looks like and i just absolutely love the formulation the reason why i'm including body in this entire section because honestly I realize I take really good care of my face and I make sure I don't put on any like you know unnecessary chemicals and I really go out of my way to look for products that are super good for my face and I realize I've been neglecting my body like I almost don't read the ingredients list of any body wash I just kind of like do whatever I recently started to think to myself like honestly I should also take really good care of my body so I started researching some brands that heavily focus on that and one of them was Necessaire and the other one which Verb has recently started doing is also their body line so these two I honestly recommend especially Actually for Necessaire also, these are the two body washes that I am currently using. I just finished this one. I actually have been trying to get this last little drop. I was like, oh my god, like how do I get to the last drop of this? There's both of these scents. I didn't even realize they were different scents because I just thought they changed their packaging. But this one is sandalwood and this one is extremely earthy. I feel like anyone would really like this product. And especially if you have a male in your life, I genuinely think this is a very luxurious body wash that is good for your skin. And I think everyone will really, really like this scent. So I highly recommend getting this if you're buying it for a gift for someone in the future. This one is in eucalyptus and it is also amazing. So I also recommend that one. Amazing. I I have really changed my body care in the last year as well. The last category I have are fragrances. I'm just gonna start off with this fragrance right here. It is another Guerlain one, and this one is in the Mandarin Balistic or whatever. This perfume basically if you don't follow me on instagram you will not know but the people that watches my instagram stories we sold out this perfume in i don't know just like the minute the sale was on because basically i was telling people on my stories like every single time i get into an uber the Uber driver asks me what perfume I have on and they always ask like in detail. They'll actually go as far as like, can you show me a photo? Let me just take a photo of it because they're like, I wanna buy it for my wife. I wanna buy it for my girlfriend. Like, I just love the smell. Like, I wanna smell it on them. So every single time I get into an Uber, every Uber driver had asked me. As a collective, everyone had called it the Uber driver perfume. People were messaging me out of the blue going like, hey, like I saw in your story like about that Uber driver perfume. Can you like let me know the name? So we started calling it the uber driver perfume like on instagram it was a very well-known thing like throughout my stories and eventually you know i just like put it in the guide and i also found out that this particular scent has a travel size which i also bought so i can actually just like spray it on when i travel but this scent oh my god i just cannot tell you the amount of compliments I get on this scent. I also want you to be extremely careful and click on the exact link of this perfume because there's another bottle that they have made that is very similar. It is also like yellow looking. I don't know if you can see the back, but these are all the perfumes from this line. But it's this scent, this scent that gets all the compliments, that gets all the attention. So do not incorrectly buy the scent by just looking at this bottle they all look very similar it is this particular scent so make sure you click the right link also the perfume isn't the cheapest either but once again they have a travel one so if you want to just test it out test out the scent then i would definitely recommend getting the travel one so this one is more a reminder but the next product is actually a candle by maison marigella Mar Mar Honestly, I'm so bad at pronouncing French names. I'm so sorry. But you guys know what I'm talking about. It is the replica perfumes. It is almost a reminder that 
you know, Sephora doesn't just sell makeup and stuff. Like they also sell high-end fragrances and candles, etc. So make sure you check this out because I really want to use my discount to buy luxury candles. I'm a huge luxury candle person. This one I have used all of this month. You can tell that it is already gone. It is in the category of memory. They have separated their fragrances into for men, for women, or for both, or for memory. And this is to remind you of what this kind of like smells like. So this scent is by the fireplace and honestly oh my god i like leave it in my room and it just i don't know what it is it's very comforting and i just love 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 the scent of this i just feel like when i smell this i just feel calmer i feel i don't know familiar something about the scent i really really like so definitely check it out they have also made a fragrance out of it and i also i already talked about this on my march favorites which actually has yet to go up this scent also comes in a spray which initially confused me because I was kind of like, who wants to smell like a fireplace? But eventually I found myself spraying it on myself, especially like at nighttime, because I find that the scent to me was just so comforting. And I find that it's especially great as a gift, especially if you want to smell it from your partner. It's a very like comforting and soothing smell. I, I can't describe it. But it is one of their best selling scents, according to Sephora, actually, when I was doing my research. So I was like, okay, I'm not the only one. It, it was really odd to me at first because I'm like, why would you want to smell like a fireplace? But now I spray it on myself every night. This perfume also for me, I don't really spray it like to go outside for other people to smell, which is what this perfume almost was because I feel like I use this perfume for, for other people to like smell me because I'm like, I know I smell good. I know I smell nice. This is the personality trait I'm trying to portray here but i feel like with the fireplace one i feel like it's more personal it's more for me so if i had a boyfriend i would spray this on him is what i'm trying to say i would literally spray this on him so i could smell it and feel comforted and feel at ease you know anyway so that is pretty much all the recommendations i have for sephora for what i'm actually going to buy i'm actually gonna pull up my basket because i already have it ready so what i'm going to buy are I am testing out the Kat Von D waterproof liquid liner. So I'm also going to test that out. There's another fragrance that I got a sample of that I'm obsessed with. So I'm going to get the travel size to test out, but it is the Jo Malone London, the Mimosa and Card... Um, cardamom cologne okay that one the kaja heart melter lip gloss that one was my absolute favorite from last year i finished the product completely it's so hard for me to finish a lipstick but i finished that one so i'm getting a replen of that one i'm also getting a bunch of the eyeliners from sephora collection that i had mentioned i'm going to get the benefit cosmetics brow kit again and the last thing i'm going to try out is actually the hourglass vanish foundation brush i heard really good things about it so i'm going to give that a try but anyway regardless i hope this recommendations video has helped please let me know if you guys like the recommendations video or if i should just stick to the blog post guides and email subscribers if you subscribe to my email you will get a early password code to unlock the recommendations and the full guide of this season early before the sale actually starts otherwise the page available which is at the bottom is available on the day of the sale and with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye